three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. Go Falcon, go Sirius. Vehicles finishing downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 32 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. In just a few seconds, we'll throttle the engines down in preparation for max Q, which is a period of maximum aerodynamic Power pressure telemetry nominal. on the vehicle. We just heard that good call out. Now during ascent, we tilt the engines, which is also known as gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally. It's what we call a gravity turn. So at this point, the vehicle is still going up, but now Falcon we are Falcon 9 also is supersonic. We just heard that supersonic call out, uh, but now we are also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. Max Q. So the rocket has now just passed through max Q, where it experiences the greatest mechanical stress in flight. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. Protect the payload once we're in space. So keep an eye out for these events that are going to happen back to back, all coming up in about 15 seconds from now. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And there you heard and saw those events that happened back to back, which again were Miko, stage separation, and SES 1. Stage 1 landing burn. Stage 2 FTS is saved. Landing light deploy. Stage 1 landing confirmed. Nominal orbit insertion. So we just had confirmation of nominal orbital insertion for... After that, we'll have another coast phase, which will last just a few minutes as the second stage prepares to deploy the SXM-10 satellite. <laughs> 